music fans, welcome to Musicians Wanted, the show that keeps you up to speed on the Boston music scene, bringing you local bands from around the area. I'm your host, Maggie Morlath, and today we're welcoming Jacob McCaslin and the Jaywalkers, a pop and R&B band from Berklee College of Music, located in Boston's Back Bay. Here they are with a song off their debut album, Look Both Ways, Lost in Translation. As you say my name, the shades of every sea and are not the same. I'm tightly tucked into your sheet of lies, your mirror image, all I recognize. Baby, tell me where'd you go? Well, I can't stay here all alone. Trust your eyes, but I discover your disguise. Baby, now you got something that I didn't see. Baby, now you are nothing that I thought you'd be. Baby, now you, I don't know, I'm catching on to every word, and I'm finding that I'm lost in translation. To leave with cards you never played, still of your sleep. Don't know what words to follow anymore. The path you're taking's not the same as the one before. Baby, tell me where'd you go? Translation, oh, 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 the glass you spare was fair out to the brim with Chardonnay. I don't recall the celebration on the phone. You say you know me, but I don't know your name. I guess I'm lost in translation. Translation, well, I'm lost in translation. I'm lost in translation.
translation. Well, I'm lost in translation. Oh, oh, I am joined now by Jacob McCaslin and the Jaywalkers. Guys, thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? Oh, pretty great. Thanks yeah, for pretty us. great. Awesome. Well, let's start off by telling me about your start. How did you guys get together as a band? Um, well, we're all fifth semester students at Berkeley, and I think uh, first semester, Kyle, saxophone player, uh, we were in the same ensemble, and uh, he knew some guys, and I knew some guys, and we kind of like jammed at together, and um, a band kind of started to form. We played some shows. And then over time, like some guys left for other commitments, and uh, Max joined our team. <laughs> yeah. Joined the team. So, and then uh, Jonathan Eliashev behind me, he uh, joined on bass, and now we're uh, one one solid unit. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Cool, cool. So, how was it for the four of you to uh, join Jacob and start working with him? Well, I had to audition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. I thought like. I thought these guys had all been a band for a really long time, but it turns out like John, I think you had just joined, yeah. Yeah. and um, I think Ross and Kyle had been playing with Jacob for a while. Yeah. So it was it was cool to like come into a project that was already like, you know, going. Cool. Was what was that audition <laughs> like? It was like there was there was one other guy before me, and I think I just got the part because like I had a keyboard and <laughs> and I like I learned the, I learned the part for the song beforehand, and the other guy didn't. So there yeah. you go. You so met the requirements. The yeah. And here you are. Yeah. How long have you guys been working together then? About two weeks now. Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah. So I know you guys just recorded your debut album, right? And what's that called? It's called Look Both Ways. Uh, yeah, our album's called Look Both Ways, and you can find it on jacobmccaslin.bandcamp.com. No, I know that album cover. You guys are posed out on Mass Ave. How'd you make that happen? <laughs> yeah, so we woke up at like the crack of dawn. It was like 6 a.m. It was freezing. Did. It was the middle of the winter. <laughs> the plan was to get all of us with yeah. our instruments into the street. And then, so we had it all figured out. We're like, all right, you got cymbals, you got snare, you got kick drum. <laughs> we failed to plan how we were getting to get the drums <laughs> off the street. Right. So we were like, we have literally like, because we wanted to have the green light in the picture. We didn't want to Photoshop that. Mm -hmm. So we're like, all right, guys, at uh, a red light, we're going to run into the middle of the street and then just snap as many pictures when a light turns green. And uh, it went great. We got some good choices. And then we're all like, oh, cars are coming, guys. Light's green. Everyone get off. And then Ross is sitting there. You know what you guys? <laughs> so uh, he was just there while cars were approaching. He's like, I don't know what to do. And for like, a minute or two minutes, he's just sitting in the middle of Mass Ave. Yeah, like, cars just beeping at him. <laughs> no! It was, it was like, terrifying. It was so, hilarious. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing for sure. <laughs> the photographer sure. was just snapping pictures. It was yeah. you, like, you got the good picture, so that's what matters, right? Yeah, and if you get a physical copy, the back, or like in, the insert, has tons of pictures from the shoot, oh, cool. where Ross is just standing there like, I don't know what to do, and all these cars are just honking at him. It's hilarious. So what's the response been like for the album? Uh, do you guys have a lot of fans already, or how's that going? Uh, I mean, like, like I said, we like, haven't played as many shows as we'd probably like to. Um, I've heard like, great things about the album. We've had it reviewed a few times, and it's all been positive. Um, we're, working, actually, we're working on some new stuff now, which we're kind of more pushing, and you can find that stuff on our YouTube channel. And now we have to take a quick commercial break, but when we're back, we'll be jamming with the Jaywalkers in just a few. So how would you describe like the style of the band, your personal style, but then as a group, your collaborative style? Yeah, we have a wide range of musical tastes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, what are your inspirations? Well, I, like for instance, like I really like like funk and like classic rock and stuff like that. Whereas like, I don't know. Like, I'm more like fusion jazz, yeah. like cool. soul kind of stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of folk rock and like um, early classic rock. Sweet, really diverse. So then, uh, who would you say like specifically are your inspirations? I'm a huge like Stevie Wonder fan, and um, I, lo I love John Mayer, um, Johnny Lang. Nice. I can definitely hear that. I definitely hear that within your music. So let's talk specifically about what you'll be playing for us today. Uh, can you tell us about Lost in Translation? Yeah, um, Lost in Translation is about like the start of a relationship where you think you have everything figured out and you think you know the girl you're dating. 
And then like slowly as the relationship goes on, you like realize like, oh, I, w I wasn't expecting this in the best possible way. <laughs> <laughs> um, then how about Soon We'll Be Together? Can you tell me about that track? Yeah, um, Soon We'll Be Together was written when my girlfriend left uh, home for a, for a month. Actually, she went on some retreat for a month and uh, like, I guess the, f the like first week she was gone, it was like, oh, this sucks. I hate long distance. And I was just like, hey, don't worry. Soon we'll be together. And I was like, Click. light bulb. Ah. Boom. Do you often find that, that the song is awesome right off the bat or that you have to do a lot of work on it to get it to where you want it to be? It uh, it sometimes. Differs, it's yeah. half and half. Half the time I get a lot of flack. <laughs> like, From these guys? Well, definitely, definitely. through like, the recording <laughs> process, it's always like a give and take of like, yeah. oh, maybe, you know, let's try this a different way. This sounds awesome. This is not so awesome. Cool. You know, it's like, it's a long process, but we try to get everything sounding really good. But you guys definitely collaborate in that, where you make as many decisions as Jacob does. Yeah, mm. definitely musical. Lyrically, it's like I'm kind of writing it, sure. and they're telling you what to change. We're pretty straight with them. <laughs> so you're like his editors. Sort of. <laughs> say that, yeah. Sure. Time zones apart, but you're still in my heart, so I don't mind. Even though you're away, I see you every day. My heart's not blind, yeah. Oh, and I know that you're gone, but not for that long. So till then, I'll be watching the door, yeah. Oh, soon we'll be together. See, I wait a week or two, yeah. Oh, it seems it's been forever. But we'll be together soon. The day that you left you you took away the biggest part of me and i know that you're back i'll have everything i'll ever need oh and i know that you're gone but not for that long till then i'll let that door Oh. 
Runaway. The song's about trying to steer away from peer pressure and uh, try to stay true to yourself or what you thought you believed. You're laughing back there. Why are you laughing? It's about him. Because his phone went off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No. Um, okay, and then lastly, what about Take a Stand? <laughs> take a Stand's about corporate America. Oh, yeah. boy. There's actually a pretty funny it's video for cool Take a Stand. Yeah, you should check out our video. It's on YouTube. It's uh, we we pull to office space scene where he, like they're destroying the, the printer, except we uh, we're destroying a bunch of smartphones. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, the song is about <laughs> like how like we're surrounded by people who are trying to advertise and market to us. Like we're like nothing's like original thought because everything is like trying to steer us to buy something, and like how we're kind of falling out of touch with like communication. There's like what it used to be like. It just like we're. <laughs> Social media and stuff as well, like we're kind of falling out of what we used to know as human interaction. I think that's what the song is mostly about. So this is your like sticking to the man song. Yeah, sure. Every how rock and roll of you guys. <laughs> Everyone's got to have a song like that, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so what's the future like for you guys? What are you looking forward to? More recording, more performing? Yeah, definitely more of both. Um, we're trying to look like to kind of create a fan base and be able to support ourselves and go on maybe a little tour. Um, yeah, that's what I think is our yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Now, past Berkeley, I know that's a huge question. No one wants to think about that, but do you guys have plans for after college? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I will, I'm a music production student, so I want to be working in a studio or uh, doing freelance stuff on the side as well, as far as like as well as performing. We have to take a quick commercial break, but stick around because in just a few, we'll be jamming with the Jaywalkers again. And um, just to kind of finish it off, any good memories that you guys have together? I mean, it seems like you spent a lot of time together, not just working, but also hanging out. So, I don't know. Any fun stories? <laughs> well, like, uh, we did another TV interview once. <laughs> and the, the funny story about it is kind of getting there. We got this Uber guy who had no idea what speed limits were, for one thing. Or, you know, stop signs. Or stop signs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you were just so comfy up there in the front seat. We, like, we <laughs> all oh, had, all, yeah. Yeah. We had yeah. all of our equipment. Everyone were, we were all together in this, like, SUV. Five people, like, in the yeah. one yeah. row. And I was in the front. He was <laughs> very comfortable. Was oh, comfortable. yeah? You weren't freaking out? Well, I mean, we were freaking yeah. out because the guy was driving like a maniac. <laughs> We were freaking out for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. Like we were all, you know, there were five people in three in a three person. Yeah, three person. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. yeah Wasn't Jesse like <laughs> laid across all of us? We took turns. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Well, I think that's all about all the time and all the questions that I have for you right now. Um, so let's check out another performance. Oh, 
your mind asleep, drifting away from home. This mask you wear will only make you more alone. You camouflage all of the poison that you drink. But it will still impair the way that you think. Run away, run away, run away, run away. You'll never hide. The current's strong but doesn't guide the way. This river there, you want us backwards anyway. You're chasing empty promises of finding thrill. But no one's ever on a flat while standing still, yeah. much Jacob McCaslin and the Jaywalkers. Check out their music at jacobmccaslin.bandcamp.com and on Facebook to see what they're playing in the Boston area. That's it for this episode of Musicians Wanted. We'll see you back here next time for some more great local music. Thanks guys and take it away. <laughs> <laughs>